I graduated from Arizona State University in marketing and for the first eight years of my professional career, I was in pharmaceutical sales, hospital supply sales for Allergam, Baxter, Medline, and then I decided to uh, leave the pantyhose and heels behind for firefighter turnout pants. <laughs> So I became a firefighter about 18 years ago now, and, uh, and a speaker, of course, at some point along the way. And on the sports side, I started out as a gymnast, and then in college went to diving, and then triathlons, and then judo. I made kind of a weird left turn, was a, was a judo player for a while and then uh, found adventure racing, and that really became uh, my ultimate love. Um, I discovered that the longer the race was, the better. And when I discovered adventure racing, I not only discovered um, probably the sport that I was meant to do, but the best and most fun side of my life, and that's um, becoming a team builder. I became a speaker um, kind of by accident. Um, <laughs> Fast Company Magazine did a story about my adventure racing team and how extreme teams operate in really difficult situations. And in 1999, they were having a reader conference called Real Time. And they asked somebody from my adventure racing team to come and speak at their event. And uh, all of us being relative introverts, um, I kind of drew the short straw, basically. <laughs> Nobody else would do it. So they said, Robin, you're the newest person on the team. You got to go do this. So I created a presentation, which at the time was the 10 essential elements of human synergy. And I was scared to death, um, but I presented it to a room full of people who had read the article. And I was so lucky that there was a zone vice president from Starbucks in my audience that day. And I suddenly found myself on this 15 city tour talking to all the Starbucks store managers right out of the box. And um, I discovered that it was really inspiring to share sort of this gospel of team building and teamwork and the effects that, um, that it can bring to people's lives and help them get to their crazy goals. And so even though um, to this day, I am still nervous before I walk onto stage, but I really feel like I'm giving something to people and I'm doing a service and I'm helping them um, see a better way forward to even bigger goals. So I do love it, but I definitely didn't start out to, uh, to be a speaker. <laughs> I think when you bring in an outside speaker, it's, um, it has a large impact because they're sharing um, something of themselves or sharing something completely outside your organization that really applies and in my case they're seeing something probably for the first time you know something truly unique in this crazy sport of adventure racing and at first i know that meeting planners may look at some of my videos and go oh dear baby jesus you know my people aren't gonna like be able to relate to people rappelling off cliffs and pulling leeches out of their arms and running around in the mud and and um, to which I would say, but you know what? Two things, first of all, it gets their attention. It's something truly unique that they've never seen before. So it's not the same old sports analogy over and over again. This is something that they're seeing from a completely different angle. But most importantly, that people understand very early in my presentation that they're an adventure racer. And one of the first things I ask is, does anybody here want to be an adventure racer after that you know, charming description in the video with the leeches? nine times out of ten not one person raises their hand to which I say good you're all too smart not to mention the fact that you have real jobs but guess what with what you guys do every single day you're in an adventure race every minute of your lives because tell me if this doesn't describe your life you've got small teams of men and women you're trying to make it through an endless series of checkpoints in pursuit of what seems like an impossible goal while you're working against extreme time pressures in a constantly changing industry and your goal is to do it better than anybody else in the world. And everyone's kind of nodding and going, well, wait a minute, I am an adventure racer. So even though they don't want to necessarily do the sport, they can see how it really applies to their life, to have these crazy big goals, to have a great team around you, to have the courage to navigate your own course, to innovate, adapt, overcome, take risks. You know, all these great things that they need to have and take home with them from these presentations. And it's not about them being an adventure racer. It's about them being a great, teammate and having that courage and daring to do mighty things and that's what people leave with. 
when I think about how I'd like to be remembered, I think about um, my license plate, <laughs> which, <laughs> which actually is T-M-B-L-D-R. And people think it says Tumble Doctor, but it really says Team Builder. Um, you know, that's really what who I am at my core and what I do in every aspect of my life from from being on stage and helping people realize the value um, and the magic of teamwork but every aspect of my life even in the fire station revolves around being that person that brings other people together and kind of helps create that mindset and helps people realize that um, you know when we genuinely care about each other as much as we care about ourselves and we're out there for each other, you know, and not just at work with each other. Uh, we not only have a great day, but our outcomes and our results are so much better than we could have ever imagined.